Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Guys, I've just got back from holiday. I think this is the first time I put makeup on in like two or three weeks. So it might not be done very well. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. So I decided to do my review on this car after having spent the whole holiday in it, right? I've done a review on it before. It is the Kia Carnival. You know I'm a big fan. Not even a big fan. I am the ultimate fan. And I wanted to do it after the holiday because I thought, who knows? Maybe after spending like, you know, three weeks in it and traveling um, long distances, short distances, living with it every day, maybe I'd find things that I don't like about it. That has not happened, people. In fact, I'm now more determined to own one. Like, I'm almost like thinking of, this is how hectic it is. I'm like thinking of like, do I need a change in career so that I can earn more money, buy myself a carnival, and then call it a day? Then I'm done. I've made it. I'm happy. I also want to move to Plettenberg Bay. That's our holiday place. I love it. I always love it. Now I'm like, let me move there and live there with a carnival. It would be living my best life, I have to tell you. So, as I've just mentioned, I went to Plettenberg Bay, also went up to Stillby. So, overall, I think I've done, whew, say like a thousand odd Ks, okay? I'm really bad at kilometers, so I kind of don't really know. But say, hang on, no more than that, like almost 2,000 kilometers I've done, okay? Because I did Stillby, I did Plett, I've done like all over as well. The one major sort of draw for me here as well is the fuel consumption. Now, again, I was on the launch. I've had it for a week. I've done a review on this, like I've mentioned. Um, you'll see it on my YouTube channel. But I thought like, you know, fuel consumption is hard. Like you spend time in a car and then you really get to know it. Guys, I am like blown away. Okay, I got the car on the 15th of December. It'll be the 15th of January like now now and by the time you're watching it's after that okay so i've had it for a month i've driven it every single day and i've been like i say to still buy and to play that's two separate trips okay and driven it every day i've only filled this car up twice twice and the second time i've still got half a tank left more than half a tank so i the best fuel consumption I managed to get was about 7.2, 7.3 liters per 100 Ks. In a car that was filled, when I say but old, you're gonna see what I've done with it. If you go onto like my TikTok or onto my Instagram um, highlights especially, but you'll see like the amount of stuff that I've put into this car. I had three adults, a child and two dogs. And I was sitting at 7.2 liters per 100 Ks. That is outstanding outstanding okay and now I'm gonna quickly talk about the price of this car because I've been in shit for mentioning that other cars are expensive um, when they are cars are expensive this is expensive no doubt about it okay but it comes in under a million so it's at like 970 odd thousand 980 thousand rand for this specific model which is the eight seater so it's the EX plus you can get a carnival for under 900 thousand rand that's a lot of car. I've spoken about cars that are, you could fit into the boot of this car and you're paying 700,000 Rand for it. So totally different segments, of course, I'm not an idiot, but my point being is that you get a lot of car for the money that you spend here. Okay, not you've got like two-tone leather seats. You, I mean, it's just the most practical, most practical car. You've got a boot that is like a thousand one hundred and thirty-nine liters or something with the seats up. I didn't have to put any of the seats down with all the people that I had in this car and the animals who each have their own bed. By the way, they went in the back. My brother Luca um, and I and all the stuff fit in the boot. I've never had that happen. It's phenomenal. Okay, so 2.2 liter turbo diesel that I should have mentioned that just now when I was talking about the fuel consumption, but anyways, 148 kilowatts of power, 440 newton meters. That was the other thing for me. 
it is always eager to overtake. I never had to worry or really consider whether I could overtake. And you know the flipping season, festive season traffic and roads are so busy and quite honestly terrifying. I've never seen such horrific driving in all my life. Like people are idiots like overtaking on blind rises, overtaking on double solid lines. Like, I don't know what makes people feel that they are so entitled that they are allowed to break such fundamental road rules. It angers me to no end. I just think, do, who the hell do you think you are? Like, just driving me, and like, you're gonna hit someone and wipe out an entire family. Anyways, that's for another day for me to vent about. But the point being, I was able to drive this like with no anxiety, pop it into cruise control, you know, like overtake whenever needed without like real worry, knew I would make it like just a glorious cruiser, like really a wonderful holiday car. I haven't done this in a while, but I think that this car deserves it. God, that's a terrible dance moves. It's really a well thought out car. I think like that's been my biggest takeaway besides the rad fuel consumption. But it's really well thought out. Like these doors are electric, not this one, the back ones. That would be my only maybe tiny gripe is they're quite slow, but you, I mean, I'm like really nitpicking because I'm just like super quick. So I'm like, come, let's go, everybody get in. Um, I have to put it into park in order to open them. You can open them from here. You can open them from the key fob. I could never figure out which one I was opening. So basically I'd open all the doors, which was fine. Um, but like everything is well thought out. Everything is convenient. It's easy for everybody to get in and out of. Even like getting into those back seats, not that difficult to do and great for kids. Great for dogs, by the way. Don't tell Kia that. I don't know if they know that I had dogs in the car. Mm. Okay, well, Archie doesn't shed hair, so he is the perfect dog. So, so there's that. Okay. Guys, I have just loved, loved driving this car. I don't want to give it back. I think it also just spells the end of my holiday when I return this car, which is devastating. Um, but I'm just like really thrilled about the fact that it didn't disappoint, even having it for a month and doing so much traveling in it. And everybody who got into it and anybody who saw me in it and any family members that got lifts with us and anything, we're all just blown away by this car. So I think that says a lot for not only the Carnival, but for the Kia brand. They are just knocking it out of the park at the moment with all their products. I, someone just almost overtook and crashed into another car. I have always been a fan of Kia, unashamedly so. People think I'm sponsored by them. They think that Kia pays me. They do not. I wish, I wish Kia sponsored me, my goodness. Um, but I don't put my name to things very lightly. And in fact, I've got myself into trouble for being very, very, very honest. But this is the point. This is why I want to be. Because when I find a product that I really love, you know that it is authentic. You know that I'm not trying to blow smoke up anybody's backside or that I'm being paid by them. If I am being paid, I will tell you so. But I'm also not going to be this excited about the product. So, yay, Kia. You just have to wait. She said, love don't come easy. It's a game of give and take. Just have to wait. I just have to wait for a carnival to own one. <laughs>